So here's my new electric bike with the controller that I made for it. Little AC controller. The motor is so quiet with the field oriented control. So and I've got okay, let's let's do a little acceleration that away. Ready? Hit set. Go. running out of road, so I just thought, thought I'd slow down. The cool thing about this, well, at least the other things I like, is I have two throttles on here. One of them is uh, to accelerate, and one of them is to slow down and recharge the batteries. So they're two separate ones. The right hand slows the bike down, so you don't really need brakes, sort of. And then the left hand uh, speeds up. So let's do a little test with that real quick here. Let me turn around so we've got more room. Okay. So we speed up with one hand. Speed up with one hand. And slow down with the other. It feels like I'm using brakes. It's pretty amazing. And you speed up with one hand. And you slow down with the other. No waste. Well, you know, a little waste. But... A lot better than using the rubber rubbing against metal, I guess. Okay, so let's stop here. Okay, I had this tied up. Let me pause it. Okay, so here it is. It's a little junky right now, but... So there's a thumb throttle to accelerate, and then a twist, this kind of throttle, to slow down and have a and brake. And I'm just using the electrical tape at the moment. So like, there's the controller. See, there's three separate boards. Control board on top. Driver boards in the middle, and then MOSFETs on the bottom, bolted directly to a little heat sink with it. The heat sink isn't getting warm at all, so I could have just used an aluminum plate. And then I used a little cheapo external 48 volt to 12 volt DC to DC for this thing. Just, I don't know why. And there's the battery pack inside here. It's like a 20 amp hour 48 volt lithium pack. And that's about it. Oh, and then the hub motor is like, I don't know, a pretty big one. I don't know what kind, on eBay. And one thing, one neat thing about this, the stock controller, you could always hear it going like, like that. Whereas with this, it just doesn't make any sound. It's just, it's so smooth. The takeoff and the slowdown and everything. It's just, you just never even hear anything. It it's just glides. Because it's doing like about 65,000. It interpolates between pulses of the U, V, and W. So between each of those pulses, there's 65,000 536 little mini pulses that it interpolates between them so it just is so smooth oh yeah and that's about it I don't know what the top speed is the top speed is faster than I'm comfortable driving so that was nice to see all right thanks okay I'm back again now it's charging oops Here's the controller. Three phases. There's U over here, V, and W. And the U and the W, see that in there? I don't know if you can see it. Little current sensors. They're minus 100 to plus 100 amp. And just changing out a couple components, this would be... Um, really, you could do 400 volt at... Um, maybe 70 amps or something like that because the MOSFETs are pretty nice the maybe 60 amps at 400 volts right now it's just 48 volts though there you go. nice little junky bike from Walmart
Hey, thanks for watching.